know, as down as I've been on the Jets, and as much as I disagree with all that they're doing, like running it back with Salah and all this stuff and bringing back Rodgers and having to make the decisions, I think it is foolish. Mm -hmm. However, when I look at where the Jets and Giants are at going into next year, if I had to pick one of the teams who I think could be playing in the division around next year, who's set up for better immediate success, I, I have to go with your Jets, with Aaron Rodgers and that defense. I think they're better. They're closer to the immediate success than the Giants are. Who's delusional now, my friend? Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's coming right? over to the dark side. <laughs> right. You know what's funny? Uh, first of all, I think that both teams are set up to take a jump because both divisions, there's a lot of turmoil, even with McCarthy being brought back for Dallas. So there's room for growth for both the Jets and the Giants. And if not, then it's a complete disaster. I, I, don't, I don't have much faith in the Jets right now. I don't. I don't have any faith in their coach. Their cap situation's not very good either. Giants in a better spot. Not that you can't finagle things and move things around, et cetera. Uh, but I think the Jets going to lose Huff. Uh, I've got no confidence that they really, really fix the offensive line. Sal, I would love to say that I think that it's my Jets. I actually think that it's the Giants next year. I, I That's how good I think Dayball is. Robert Salva should not be the coach anymore. Oh, well, we agree with the How can I thing. invest ener- any energy in a guy that nobody, but more specifically me, believes in? Right. We, we agree on the Salah thing, okay? And unfortunately, it's just not going to change. However... And I'm not trying to poke holes in Dable and the Giants because I, I do believe in Dable and the Giants. However, th- their plan is further down the road. Like, look where they're at as far as the talent goes. And you can make a case that the division is more open now than it's been in the past. That's fine. Who's the quarterback for the Giants next year? At least I know with the Jets, it's going to be Aaron Rodgers. Not going with it. He stays healthy. They're going to get a better backup. Their defense is, at the very least, l- like legit. It, mm-hmm. it may not be the top defense. It may be overrated, and I think it is. But it's still legit. There are pieces there. AFC is tougher. I understand all that. I, I believe the Jets will be a better team next year. I I think the Giants are headed in the right direction. I just like you don't even know who their quarterback is. How can you say they're going to be in better shape than the Giant than the Jets moving forward? Well, I I think it's going to be Jones Week One. I do. Um, I think I think both teams. Well, I think the Jets, because the Giants finished with pride. And I know the Jets won the last meaningless game against the Pats that some <laughs> fools for some reason wanted to win. Ooh, we beat Belichick. Wow. Yeah, you sent so, him out with an L. Come oh, on. Wow, what an it's amazing. one of the reasons why I like the Jets next year, baby. <laughs> big big <laughs> win. And 1-0 in 2024. Yeah, right. The Jets are, right now, I believe the Jets are an emotionally fragile and damaged franchise. I don't feel that way with the Giants. So, I don't. Oh, really, because of what happened two years ago. Right. And then, obviously, a step back this year. But I still think there's enough equity and goodwill and success in the Giants building where I think their offseason, there's bit of, I, I believe, more positive energy. Whereas if I, I, I feel like the Jets are vulnerable and the Jets are wounded. And if that's true, and, and I believe that it is, now I need to look at the man and eventually the men in charge of repairing that wound. And it goes back to coaching. Right, but look at the Giants where they may have a totally different staff. Obviously, there's going to be already significant pieces. We don't know what's going to happen with Kafka yet. I mean, Brian Dable and all the stuff that's come out after uh, you know the season has ended here. I still believe in Dable and think he's doing the right thing, but putting a new staff together, you don't know how it's going to work out. We don't mm-hmm. know who the quarterback is. They don't, they don't have as much talent to begin with. So new defensive coordinator minimum, obviously the special teams and all that stuff, but I'm talking about big, big things here. New defensive coordinator minimum. We don't know who the quarterback's going to be. Coming off of a down year after making the postseason two years ago where the Jets at least have the talent. They don't have the head coach, but they have the talent and a proven quarterback. I mean, I would look at the Jets at worst. Let's say that everything goes right. Nine, ten wins where, to me, the Giants at best maybe could achieve that. And I do think both teams can make the postseason next year. But as far as one being more legit than the other, I think for immediate short-term success – I'd have to go with the Jets as much as I disagree with keeping solid. Let me ask you this. So you think the Jets ceiling is higher and and I could probably agree with that. I do. I think right. the, the Jets have more talent right now, but whose floor do you think is lower? I, I think still, it's Jets. I still think it's the Giants just because I don't think they have, I don't know who the quarterback is. We don't even know. And I don't like Daniel Jones. Five years of Daniel Jones figuring out what he is. He's always hurt. Even when he's not hurt, he had one good year in which everybody, you know, he, he was great. When again in the postseason winning a game, he threw 15 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. But think about this. We didn't know who the quarterback, for the most part, was going to be on a week-to-week basis this year at the Giants, and they still held it together. Right. For six wins, right? I, yeah, but based uh, on the start, six wins well, represented a hell of a agreed, finish. Agreed. But the start 
does count. It is no, a part that's true. of it. That, that's fair. So that's if you're true. looking at it in total, and I also think next year is going to be, I hate to use even the term rebuilding, because I know they're going to try to win, and I believe they will win some games, but they're also, I'm hoping for the Giants, it's a transitional year, meaning they find their young quarterback. They draft the rookie quarterback. This can't be the Daniel Jones show again. I'm not sold on the combo of Dable and Jones. I like Dable. Uh-huh. But they need the young quarterback. So if they do get a young quarterback, I'm not anticipating a C.J. Stroud type year. I'm anticipating a normal rookie quarterback eventually when he takes over from Daniel Jones in what is going to be a transitional year for the Jets. They're going for the Super Bowl. Now, I don't believe that they're going to win the Super Bowl. I don't think they're going to get to the Super Bowl. However, I don't think playoffs should be a stretch for them where the Giants, a lot would have to go right for them to make the postseason. I think if we're looking ahead to a year from right now, odds are we're talking about the Jets in the postseason more so than the Giants. Okay, before we get these calls, let me throw this at you because I think this is going to fuel a lot of the answers, either positively or negatively. Do you think Saquon's on the Giants? I do. I don't. And I think with that money, and I'm sorry, but it, it is what it is. And I, I love the young man. He's awesome. You got to move on. You got to move and on. And you think they're going to be better off for it next year? Yes. Because Without they, Saquon Barkley? Yes. Uh. Yes. Because they will take that money and they will disperse it around the roster. Uh, they already have some young weapons like Robinson. Yeah, looking like pretty Wanda good. Robinson. Yeah, Hyatt, yeah. though, was inconsistent. Uh, Jalen Hyatt showed a little Waller flash stinks. here and there. Well, forget about that. Waller, I, I wouldn't even keep him. I'd, I'd have to look at his contract. But if he's not on the team, it means nothing to me. Uh, you know, I mean, he's just he's too banged up. In his right, who's the backup running backs? I mean, none of these guys have done anything. Saquon. Get somebody in the fourth round. Did anybody in New York know, unless you were a devout Iowa State fan, did anybody know who the hell Brees Hall was before the Jets drafted him? No, uh, like, but, there, but there was hype about it. Well, that I understand pick. that, but he wasn't a first-round pick. I'm not saying you can't find one. You I'm saying they build, haven't found one. Well, But, yes, but now it's their job, and I, and I think that they haven't really looked for one because of Saquon's presence. Think about that. So they really weren't you know, philosophically amenable to drafting a running back in round two or round three because they have other holes which they need to address, but also because they had Saquon Barkley as the top two pick, and they, you know, a lot of money, superstar. It's just time to move on. You cannot justify, in my opinion, giving them 12 or $13 million, and if the Giants, who I believe will be cutthroat here, and they need to, if they are smart, and even though it's going to hurt, it's, it's going to hurt. Much like if Alonzo leaves the Mets, I can make a case as I have, that might ultimately be the best move, but it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to sting right away. If the Giants are prepared to move on from Saquon, and I believe that they are, the Giants will be a playoff team next year. They drafted Eric Gray in the, what, fifth round? I think it was fifth. fifth. round. Fifth round last year. So still maybe trying to find a replacement there. 100%. But, I mean, we saw nothing from him this year. Look, and, and even if you do, losing, like the best case scenario, if you're a, a Giants fan and you move on from Saquon Barkley, it's that you find somebody that could maybe do what he's done. You're not going to find somebody better than him. No, I, I well, you might you find, find somebody cheaper. That's the point. And you right. might find somebody who's more available, well, who might play wise, more games. Uh, you give me 80% production at 30% of the cost, we got to win. Yeah, I'm surprised to see that <laughs> we you got to win. I'm surprised to see that you don't think the Jets are closer than the Giants. At the I don't, because uh, I, don't, I don't trust Robert Sala. And, and what, well, I mean, I'm who, sorry. Who I mean, he's the coach. BT and Sal on the fan or friends at Town Fair Tire remind you he's that not Town good. Fair, yeah, well, I mean, you know, he's not good. I, I, I know I'm that, done. But, I'm done dancing. Robert Salva's not good. Right, but if you look, I don't at, trust him. But but look at the whole package. Yep. I don't either. But if you look at the whole package, I believe in the Jets' defense as a whole. Right, like being competent to be a playoff team. I believe in Aaron Rodgers more so than any part of the Giants' roster. Now, I believe in Dable more than anything with the Jets. But really, outside of that, there's not much there. I like some of the young players on defense, of course. Me but as a, as a whole, plus with the new defensive coordinator, we just don't know. All right, BT and Sal on the fan are friends at Town Fair Tire. Remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Jack is in Rockaway, Queens. What's up, Jack? How you doing, guys? Good morning. I just well, First, I just want to get this out. Is it me, but Robert Sala, doesn't he look and sound like Garcia from 300 and Nick Cipriani? From uh, the Michael Scott from the office, but uh, I, as far as the future, I, the, the Jets have a much clearly better future. They they have a, a, a top flight defense. They have um, they have uh, their 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 skill positions. That they have uh, on rookie contracts. Brees Hall, he was the first running back picked in that. And he just not decided the first round, but he was the first running back picked that year. He's a year removed from his ACL surgery. You have um, um, 
Yeah, uh, Wilson as a wide receiver. He's a top five wide receiver on a rookie thing. They just need a, another wide out, maybe a, a, a tight end. They got uh, Jack. They need an offensive yeah. line. They they got guys coming back. Oh, they, they it have, they stinks. Have, they have. You know, listen, it you can't have everything. Man. They, 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 the Rodgers coming back should, should be good. And uh, they, what do the Giants have? I'm a Giant fan too, but they have no. no, no well, first no of all, position. they've got the be- they've got the best of the group in in, in Thomas. You think they win more than seven games next year? How is that possible? What, what I, I do. I, well, because they almost did it this year, and basically everything went wrong. And they're going to upgrade, and they're going to get better, and they're in a better. Listen, this part of it as well. Now the numbers will fluctuate based on you know things that will still happen. Right now, the Giants are in better salary cap spot than the Jets. The Jets are going to lose Bryce Huff. Yeah, but the they're J- going to lose him. The Jets are all in. The Jets are going for it now. It could implode again the same way that it did this year. But the Giants are still transitioning here. Now, would I be stunned if both teams made the postseason? I know it's like around here. Yeah, of course you should be. But I really wouldn't. With the way the NFL is, like I think you can make a legitimate argument for both teams making the postseason. Which one do I think is more legitimate? Which one going in? I mean, I'm always going to look at a team and evaluate the head coach, quarterback combination going in. And in this particular case, I favor Aaron Rodgers. Huge, obviously, over the Giants quarterback situation. Now you want to go head coach? I favor Brian Dable. Huge in the Jets' favor. Uh, excuse me, in the uh, Giants' favor, Brian Dable. Then, you so to break the tie, quarterback, Jets, mm-hmm. head coach, Giants, to break the tie, what's the big difference? Well, the I'd defense. go to GM at this point. Yeah, well, I mean, that's another point. I would go defense, though. Yeah, no, right I hear now. you in terms of game day stuff. Well, I got well, because, you. Well, because the GM is going to play out over the course of a few years here. Uh-huh. You know, Joe Shane may be better than Joe Douglas he may take the right quarterback. We still have to see him draft a quarterback, which I would anticipate is going to happen this year. Mm-hmm. And if not, then it's a whole different thing. Like, I can't I can't back Daniel Jones again. I think there are limitations to how far Daniel Jones can take you. Maybe the postseason, sure, but there are no limitations to how far Aaron Rodgers can take you. The knock on Rodgers is that he's old. That's it. Uh, that's that's a pretty big knock. Oh. It's, still, <laughs> it's all a right. big knock. So, man, you'd rather have Rodgers at 40 or Daniel Jones next year? No, I'd rather have Rodgers. I mean, but what? it's a massive, massive roll of the dice. And they're, listen, they're going to have a better backup. The one thing, though, I, I, you know, we sit here and we say, you know, the Jets need to resolve this and address that and get a better backup, and they will. Well, the Giants already had a better backup. Right. So their plan was already better than that of the Jets. Which helped them run some games. Yeah, oh, the Ty- third stringer won more games than anybody else. That's true. DeVito was, was, was good. Uh, so Tyrod Taylor is going to be gone, I would imagine, because that two-year, $16 million contract that he signed to come here expires, and I think he'll get a better opportunity somewhere else, probably, not to start. But maybe a few more bucks, whatever. Maybe he's back with maybe he's with the Jets. I don't know. But I just feel like now, what's the knock on the Jets? Is it just the, Salah? The knock on the Jets. Well, well, in this well, argument for you, from your perspective, who you've been Mr. Jet, obviously. Uh, yeah, but I'm also going to be Mr. No, well, Mr. Realistic which here. I, no, I respect you. Know that. that we 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 do that down the middle. The We're head coach is, a, is a the head coach is a D plus head coach in my opinion. Right. Um, well, what would you rate Dable? Uh, I think D, Dable in totality years one and year two. I think he's a I think he's tra- I think he's a B, possibly a B minus with some of this noise, but, looking, but certainly much higher than Robert Sala. Right? Okay. Well, no even, question. Even if you give him a so B, I'm terrified you said about Sala. Probably an F. Really. I'm just gonna say. Right. Terrified about Sala. The offensive line's disgraceful. Right. Disgraceful. And you don't think they're gonna improve that this year? Well, they've they told us the last three years they are. Joe uh, Douglas hasn't shown that he can. Right. I believe that. You know. I mean, maybe he stumbles upon success. I know it's going to be better than. That it was this year. And to be fair as well, like, you know, Rodgers diagnosing things. We've talked about this. Zach Wilson, everybody else that steps up to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the old line is Swiss cheese. But when you see something early, you could check out of it. You can avoid some of these deficiencies on the offensive line through intellect, through acumen, through anticipation. Things that Zach wasn't prepared to do yet. Might not ever be prepared to do anywhere. Certainly he's gone from here. Um, So I do think the old line will be just better because Rodgers is there. But it's still a mess. I mean, yeah. they just don't win in the trenches, and that's how you win. Oh. And think about the first call we took, Sal. He's talking about, and I and I get it. It's not a diss, but I've done this in the years past as well. You got Brees Hall. You got Garrett Wilson. You, you got to protect your quarterback. Mm, you got to build inside you out. You must. Inside out, not outside in. Oh. A lot of these teams get caught up. God, oh my. Have we get skill- caught up. Haven't yeah. we learned our lesson? Well, no, I, I never believe that. Like the idiot Atlanta Falcons for years taking skill position plays. I, that's what I got on Jerry Reese for years ago, taking Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. when they could have had Zach Martin. Yep. Same thing with Saquon Barkley, number two. You don't like a quarterback? Mm. Fine. Trade down, take a lineman. Yep. With Gettleman. So whether it's Jerry Reese or Gettleman, those picks going with the skill position players, building outside in, 
you're setting yourself up for disaster. And that is what happened with the Giants. I think the Jets at least were more aware and trying to do I think they just missed. Like, they did draft Mekhi Becton. He just sucks. Mm-hmm. He's a bust. Mm-hmm. And they tried to tell us he was fixed. Nonsense. He's not. Bob is calling from Comac, New York. What's up, Bob? Bob? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are you? Good morning. What's up, Bob? Um, long-time Jets fan, but I think the Giants are in a better position. Hmm. And I'm going, to give you, I'm going to give you two reasons. Number one, mostly every Jets fan, and maybe BT, knew that you could not stay with Wilson once Rodgers went down. How can Joe Douglas, when he brings Rodgers in because he knows the kid is not ready, let that remain as such? Everybody knew it except Joe. Agreed. So plan, thought, I, the the I, plan coming in, Bob, was the right one in my opinion. But once Rodgers went down, you needed well, to change. Yeah, you got to go out there and I'm, get somebody. That's what I'm saying. Everybody knew this except Joe. So now I question his acumen as a GM. He's made some picks. He's made some plus. And then number two, just in my opinion, if you look at that division, you look at Miami and you look at Buffalo, and then you go to the Giants division and you look at Dallas and you look at Philly. Well, Dallas I is have, light years ahead of the Giants. Light years. I, I know that. No, no. I'm just They saying, may have closed the gap with the Eagles and the division in, in, mm-hmm. as, a, as a whole. Mm-hmm. They have not That's closed a, the gap with the Dallas Cowboys. Not even I'm close. Not, right. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying competition within the division, which leads to wins, and I'm much more bullish on the success of the Dolphins and the but the Bills in that division as opposed to Dallas and the Eagles, mm. and the Eagles got some holes. Yeah. So that's part of my equation. All right, well, that makes that, sense. Oops, sorry, Bob. I didn't mean to cut you off there. That makes sense, and thank you for the call. You want to look at the division? Fine. I still think the disparity between the Cowboys and Giants is far greater than the disparity between the Bills, Dolphins, and Jets. I'd, pr- I'd probably agree with that, although some of those Dolphin games, I mean, it seemed like the disparity was varsity versus JV. Yeah, I know. I know. Depends which game you parachute it into. Well, that's the difference <laughs> that's that Ro- Rodgers has to make the difference in those matchups. And look, if, if the Jets don't have Rodgers, then they really they have nothing. Obviously, a part of me saying I believe in them is, in fact, having a healthy Aaron Rodgers next year. BT and Sal on the fan, 877-337-6666. We'll have game two of game time with uh, without Boomer Esiason. Mm. BT and I go head-to-head. We open up a pack of cars coming up at 1140. We'll get into the Mike McCarthy stuff as well. Maybe do a little Yankees. Marcus Stroman going to be introduced today. Big, bad Yankees signing the evil empire is back. 